I had nothing but love for Pastor Bryant. Shout out to Jamal Bryant. Shout out to Von Alvarez. But if y'all play that interview, somebody getting snatched off the pulpit. Don't play the interview. It's not clear. It was out of bounds. Me and Pastor Brian need to talk because the way I was why I was treated was was was. What interview? What? So you did an interview that you don't want release? It's crazy because I be hearing about that a lot in the industry. You know what I'm saying? I think I heard Sharp just talking about an interview he did with Kevin Gates and Kevin. You know he had a change of heart after they did the interview and he ain't wanted to come out. What? Like with the dirty and illegal and I don't like it and I don't want nobody to play that fucking interview I don't care if you from the church or not like like be respectful and do people right don't call people out their name and don't make people feel like they not safe in a place where they thought they were safe I'm telling you right now I'm telling you right now we need to work it out because if we don't that's gonna be a problem. So I wonder what this interview got in it that Ray don't want to be seen. For one, for two, he talking about I don't care if you from the church or whatever. It's going up, you know what I'm saying? And it's, so it seemed like yeah, Ray has been spiraling fake way. Like ever since you know this all this Diddy shit and everything that's been coming out, man, it's been a lot, bro. And I don't know what's up with Ray, but. Apparently, somebody didn't try to slide on him today or something. I'm like, what? Just tried to shoot me and tried to kill me. And you want me to apologize? You just tried to shoot me and tried to kill me. And you want me to apologize? You say who won't even apologize? I wonder. See, see what I'm saying? Like, this shit is good. I mean. Bruh, like, what's up with Ray, bruh? And, you know what's crazy? If you, what's that show? I think it's Moesha. Bruh, it, that show, like, Ray was one of my favorite uh, actors back in the day. He was, like, one of the first, you know what I'm saying? Like, the first likable he seen. And it, you could tell he he come from where he come from a little bit in, in behind some of the uh, roles he played or whatever have you. But, so, the people were saying... Uh, remember we was wondering why why him and uh, Diddy Sons got into well we wasn't really wondering we was speculating about yeah 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 just like what what really happened with that well check this out is that going on now yes they want to talk to me they feel like they can trust me are these high profile people calling you because they've had some affiliation with Diddy that they don't want to come out Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. And I don't even know why I just said it, but I said it, so so what? It, it, it come across real strange, bro. That, cause Ray, you was cool with Diddy. Like, I wonder, so what, what you was cool by force? He was extorting you to hang with him and shit? To fly his private jets around and shit like that? What's like, feel me? I wonder what Wack think about this shit, about somebody trying to slide on you. Where you, where, 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 where let's, let me, this. Yeah, so some sons and them probably definitely hot about that. Like, why in the fuck you was just with my dad on his private plane, chilling, you and Bow Wow, whatever had you. Now you in a, a downfall of Diddy docu fuckumentary, Ray J. And the crazy thing about it, right? When when Orlando and, and Ray J was doing that interview, Orlando was kind of like pressing Ray J on some. Like, like, Ray J more so on that side of things. You get what I'm saying? Like, basically, damn near hinting at, like, trying to say, nigga, you should be locked up, too, basically. Or, you feel me? Let, let me see. Let's, let's. Women or the weathermen, preferably. And, you know, it, it, yeah. May I, um, may I ask a question to you? You can, you can do, you can ask, yes. Okay. okay. Um, what happened to revolt? <laughs> Like, like, hey, you see how Ray in there breathing? Like, what's what's wrong with? Oh, let me read some of these comments, man. That nigga, it did. Funny Marco, he laughing. 
but he don't really understand the severity of this shit. You, he knew to this shit. He, he knew money. You understand? So he don't really know. Ray J, is, Ray J said some shit in that interview, too. He was saying, like, maybe they should have therapy. Uh, uh, some shit about, you know, uh, counselors for the artists who don't know how to handle coming in the new wealth, who might have grew up a certain way, and just talking about getting help for people who might who might have... You feel me? Got drunk with power and, and, and lost their way in this shit and started to do whatever. You feel me? And I'm like, Ray, man, this shit crazy, bro. It sound like Ray. It's just crazy, but let's keep it real. What happened? <laughs> you Google it. I'm asking you a second. I'm saying you can I, Google I, I, I it. What happened with that was that the <coughs> company's staff all acquired the shares of the company. I think uh, Puff gave it back to the gave it back to the um to the staff. All this year, so he fucked with us like that. No, he didn't. Do, he didn't. Do, he he he. The, he, the shade room posted. If you want to know, go look on the shade. He room. gave all of the shares back to the to people that worked there that deserved it. I think so. That was a good gesture. See, Orlando was was doing a lot of shit. He was saying a lot of shit, but like he was talking in code, like to Ray J. And hella shit, like it's cr I don't know. It's, it was strange how, how he was coming, you know? It was strange how, Ray, how Orlando was coming at Ray. And, and yeah, but but Ray was holding his composure. He trying to hold his composure through this shit right now, as you can see. But that video, we're going to go through that again. Women or the weathermen, preferably. And, you know, it, it, yeah. May, um, I, may I ask a question to you? You can, you can, do, you can ask, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, what happened to Revolt? And it's like, what you trying to say? What, what? You trying to say Raytronic's in danger? Secretly? Like, basically, like, oh, oh, what happened to Revolt gonna happen to you? What, you feel me? Like, why would you ask, why you asking me? Nigga, Ray should have flashed on that nigga. Like, nigga, blood? Fuck you talking about? You keep asking me, nigga, uh, feel me? You trying to like who you is, nigga? You 12? Fuck you be, nigga. You done did shit too, nigga. We seen you too. You, why you acting crazy? But this was crazy. Just tried to shoot me and tried to kill me, and you want me to apologize? <laughs> you see, I, if a nigga really did that, I wouldn't want you to apologize. I'm like, what? You slid? You what? So what's what now? Like, see, the thing is, why well, ask what happened with whack? Where whack? How whack feel about this shit? Cause I remember when them two when when them uh, Diddy, Diddy the Diddlets tried to get on Ray J Helmito at the club last week. Whack was on go. Wack was ready to slide. So just imagine a nigga trying to kill Ray. Wack probably is loading up the troops. This shit is finna get serious. And man, it's crazy, bro. You know, it's a trip. I'm, it, you know, I'll bring up the Moesha shit because it's a trip to see Ray like at this point now. It's a fucking trip. You ever thought you would see Moesha little fucking brother dating Whitney Houston? The bodyguard? I will always love you. That's hella crazy. This I will always love you and then one wish. Them is that's two different fucking errors. It don't even make sense. But you know it's crazy. It's kinda like AE, ain't AE uh nigga from the day. AE Tiger partner. That nigga dating well he dating Cher or some shit right now or some shit. Some crazy shit. He like he having fun though. That's his life if he wanna do that, but it just it just be a trip, bro. What, Ray J, you he, he, feel me? He going through some things and really don't nobody really understand him except for probably like Diddy and other niggas who if you know and that's famous that's been in the mix. I don't see to to know Ray. I f with Ray, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't, nigga. I don't judge people about what they did and how they f with it. If it ain't as long as it ain't no kids. And, and shit like that involved, and, and it wasn't no other 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 type shit. I can't really screw now. I don't even know what's going on, but I do know I fucked with Ray. I fucked with him as an entertainer and just as a personality and shit like that. But I guess it's it's like it seemed like shit shit ain't looking good, and I don't really know why it ain't looking. It just seemed like he panicking. You know what I'm saying for whatever reason, and it's probably finna come out. It's it's a trip, but. Hopefully it ain't nothing too bad about him. But he probably, we don't know why he, you know what I'm saying? We just hopefully, bro, right in the clear of this shit.
I'm just saying, the people looking at Ray like, why you panicking? Was you there or do you know more? Well, you would see he on the side. You see what side of shit he on? Nigga was in the downfall of Diddy documentary. Nigga just probably took off as soon as they seen Ray. Like, nigga, ain't even nothing to hack. Y'all see what you doing? But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think. Say ho, you can't be playing with that paper ho Nigga need that yaper, need it now and not later ho Say ho, you can't be playing with that paper ho